Hey y'all, Xander here. Uh, just wanted to do another video on how to make the ultimate play tool from an official Hakido kit. Customize this one's for down to earth local stores out here in the islands, a good folk. Um, so this is gonna be a step-by-step. -step. I'm actually doing it from this and uh, hopefully everything will go smooth. So uh, here we are with the hack kit and uh, everything that you're gonna need. It's gonna need some tape at one point. And scissors, you don't necessarily need those, but I have them so I might as well use them. Got it with a stapler, two for one. So anyway, Got your package. All right, I'm just gonna take these out. Boom. Oop, missed that one. Boom. Take them out like this. Boom. Boom. So on the inside of here, you're gonna have actual funnel. The funnel stencil. That's what you're gonna need the scissors for. But we'll do that in a moment. So now we're gonna open this up. And the other side, we're gonna find the combo player. Here's your thread. And you're gonna need, um, I measured it out for people here, but it's three feet, 36 inches, approximately a meter, one meter of uh, thread. And notice it's not all the way done up. It's it's a little bit less than halfway, just in case I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that every time for everybody. But, um, so there's a little bit of thread left over on this. And then you take your pattern, and we're gonna take some scissors. So you cut out. And this one doesn't have to be that precise. You know, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really do it very clean because you don't necessarily need to have it like that. All right, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna fold it under anyway. So this could be really quite fast and just boom, 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 boom. And then take this side, boom, 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 boom. One side done. I'm gonna go to the other side right here. Boom. And almost there. Boom. All right, voila. So now we have our two halves <laughs> logo and this half that out of the way just for aesthetic purposes and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to crease these things okay so i have little dashes on the inside for doing that um so those dashes will also become your markers for your needle point where you're going to put your needle in so um So the symbology and the hack and the logos and stuff like that, any questions about it, you know, find out more, but there's some warm fuzzies inside there. So here comes the second one, second half, just crease it down. You wanna make the creases kind of accurate. This is the important part because this is gonna line up your, uh, your fold so it's easier to do the actual sewing, right? So of course that's kind of important. And we just finished it up. And there we are, all the way around. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now, I'm gonna take that needle and thread. There's gonna be a couple pair of dots on there with long lines, right? It's gonna be a different size of them. You can just go like this, go through one dot and the other dot. And we're gonna do it on the other side over here. We're gonna make sure that the fabric comes together underneath here, right? So this, this part's tucked underneath there. So we go from this dot, boom. Out the other dot, which is hard. I gotta put, make it a little bit more noticeable. I'll do that next time. But right there, it comes out through Antarctica. So the next rounds will not have it <laughs> so hidden. But um, all right, and we go to go back here. All right. So our first stitch, or it's not gonna be a stitch. It's actually gonna be a knot. It's a square knot. This is the one where you go. Like I take the, the shorter side and I go around in front, pull it underneath, come through, and I still take the shorter side, come out in front. Pull it underneath and come through, okay? Watch it in slow-mo if need be. All right, square knots, how you tie your shoelace type of thing. And then we be begin our first stitch. This is the important part too, is tucking this under here for your first stitch, right? And I line up a couple ahead of me, and this is going towards Australia, Dan Ende. Hello, mate, good day. But it's a, uh, we're just gonna put a nice little thing over there and connect that one, because it's the first landmass. If you go this way, it takes a little bit of time to get to how you're oriented. So 
first stitch, here it comes, and it's called a blanket sti stitch, folks. I come in from behind right here, right there, push it through like that, go take this one closest to the last knot you, or stitch you did, this one's just for the first knot, you go underneath it, wrap it through, pull it out, and then it goes boom, locks into place, all right? So that's your first blanket stitch. Now these are conveniently done so that every single stitch will go right where the dashes are. Now you don't need to line up the dashes, both dashes, they won't both line up, but this the outside one is the one you're more concerned with to keeping your, keeping your spacing going on the hack, all right? So now uh, last time I counted, I think you do 39 stitches. Eh, eh, love it. So this is where you come up to very shortly is the thread comes through like this. This is on purpose. Um, you see that right there, it's better with that light right there, the white. But this is so that you won't get threadbare. So you pull that out and then you just lower the, the needle down a little bit, right? So right here, I'm just pulling on it just a little bit, all right? And then I'm, I'm relining this up. That gives me a chance to do a few more stitches. But if you do the same stitch, uh, the stitches at the same place on the thread, your thread gets really weak and that's what we call threadbare. So now pointers on why, why this is so good for you, right? You're, you're Pass, uh, you're stitching along a path, but it's not just a straight line path, it's a curved path. So that you're creating like an infinity symbol, which is kind of cool. Stitching in itself is a pretty cool meditation, right? I'm, I'm, well, normally your heart rate slows down a little bit, uh, you, you're focusing, um, and you're just, it's a nice little brain tease. I like doing these while I'm what, watching a movie or something like that, I can just bust these out and uh, you know, have three of them done by when watching a movie at the same time, it's kind of cool. So, I'm just giving you guys. All right, so. Oh, that's good. Uh, you, don't, you don't see that right there, I bit it too close. It's not that big of a deal, but I redo it just because um, I don't want to bite it too close. I want to give a little bit more um, more fabric to you know, suck into right there. So, and every once in a while have these vertical lines. So that just tells you where you are approximately and how everything is going. But you can also just check by the landmass, right? This is um, Asia coming together with North America. So you gotta check the land masses that they line up. All right, so then comes Alaska. So anyway. And again, they'll shift down to the thread. Boop. And then I'll come back into the screen and continue my sewing. Sure, this takes a little bit of time. Uh, first time people will probably take like an hour. Um, if you've done sewing before, you could probably do it, you know, I've seen people do it in about 30, 40 minutes the first time um, and I've seen one lady do it in like you know 10 15 minutes I think she, but she blew it away you know she just knew how to sew so she was like done you know boom but if you know you haven't done it before I, I, it has taken up to an hour and a half but that was teaching like six or seven eight to ten year olds <laughs> so yeah it wasn't that easy but um, you know it's uh, it's one of these things that it's, it, you know anybody can learn how to do. It's a great thing to learn how to do. Um, but after your third one, you're you're pretty much even if you've never done it before, they look very similar to mine. I could barely tell the difference. So, um, yeah. So, little story how I got started in. I think I've told this story lots of times, but I'm hoping one day I meet up with my hack guru, uh, the guy first ever gave me a hack. Um, was living in Boulder, Colorado. That's a hint where he is, maybe. I don't know where he is now, but uh, back in 95. And I had a backpack on, I was about ready to leave, do some traveling, and <laughs> my friend, who I just met this guy, but you know, we were like total best bros. He's like, do you have a hack with you? I'm like, no, and so, uh, he pulled one out of his pocket. He said, this is gonna be the best gift anyone's gonna ever give you, buddy. Just keep it in your pocket, all right? I'm like, okay. So I put it in there. But, you know, I had this bulge in my pocket that needed to be played with. And the hack was calling me to me as well, saying, hey, look, do it. 
No, so I pulled them out anywhere I wanted, uh, start playing with myself, and uh, you know, all of a sudden get others to play with me. <laughs> kind of fun, right? Uh, more players, better. But and <laughs> it just made instant friends wherever I was going. Um, you know, I could just go to a park and just meet up with people who would want to play with me. And uh, you know, one hour of play is a lifetime of conversation, um, or something like that, Mr. Plato. But it's. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's worth it. You know, you find a lot about a human, how you play together. And this thing is the best thing as far as no violence, cooperative competition. Uh, you know, there's no practicing hack. There's only playing hack. It's always fun. It gives you all the rewards. You can play in a small space. You don't need to make special tools for it or have things. It's, it's just, you know, it keeps on giving. You know, I've been playing heavily since 95. And the hack just keeps on telling me more about its little secrets and why it's so cool. And did I mention that most people can learn how to make one? Right? You don't need to do this, buy this anywhere. But if you want kiss custom kits, please. I'd love to send a hacky birthday kits. Ha ha hacky. Ha ha hacky birthday kits to people. Uh, you know, you put them together for parties, you know, right there. Um, you know, you have friends come over, they either make them with you, if you show them how to make them at the party, or if you want to be, you know, whatever, you can make them before the party, but, you know, uh, time saving, I guess, but, you know, a hack birthday party, throwing them at each other, playing, you know, games with them, uh, again, it's infinite play possibilities. My, my boy and I, last time we went out um, at the park, we were playing a bocce ball style game with these you know throwing them down a hill and just you know getting close to them and because i had a lot of them with me of course but um you know i always recommend carrying three with you that's why this size is really cool um three hacks can fit in your pocket better than juggling balls um and personally i only juggle with three uh because i don't you know Juggling four is not fun. It's not good. You know, it's a, just a it's an even thing, so it's not as good for your brain, if you will. But it's it's whatever. But then five is yeah, you could, five is cool. But you can just do the balls faster. You basically do similar patterns, but you can't do as many patterns as you can with three. And three fits in your pocket more comfortably. So and three is my good number. It's a good number. It's everybody's good number, right? <laughs> anyway, so. Um, you know, you always have the hacks in your pocket. You can always play them everywhere and change up the mood anywhere. You know what I'm saying? If you're like standing in line somewhere, you bust them out and, uh, you know, make kids smile, you know, like just in so many weird situations, you know, people arguing, bro, like, you know, not having a good time, pull out hacks and just start juggling. And everyone's like, oh, there's a juggler. Everything's okay. So it, it's really a great thing to learn how to do. So, and really good for your brain, and it'll continually discover how good it is for your brain. Uh, you know. So anyway, we're at this point right here where I've almost finished up the whole thing, right? It's coming to this last line, this last little bit. So at this point, let's take out this, the funnel that was there. Oh, wet spot. So we're gonna cut this out. And again, don't need to be too precise on this one. It's just, oh, I went the wrong way from the scissor mark. <laughs> All right, and then uh, straight across. And this last part right here. Okay. All right, here you got the funnel. And now we take tape. And well, we can first form the funnel if you want, just to be PC about it. Uh, don't get the thing wet. It makes it really not fun. It's not that big of a deal. So you put it like that. Take a pretty big slice of tape because you want to get the bottom part as much as you can here as well because it helps stick it together at the bottom where you need it most. So you can put that there. You just go up and put that like that. Boom. Okay. Now we have a funnel. So we put the funnel in the core like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. And we take the seeds, said hemp seeds that are very good for you, but uh, and our life. And we put seed seeds in this funnel, like so, like so. And uh, then start filling the hack. So we're gonna, just gonna 
and go in there and you have to move your fingers in here and get it going in there. It takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of care. I've had many times with seeds spill everywhere oh, on cue. Why is that right there? That's just beneath camera. Seed spillage. <laughs> so anyway. Um, okay, so. Queso. Es importante. All right. That would nail us, bro. Oh. Good show, y'all. So, um, then we fill this up. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So, this doesn't need to be totally filled. Oh. So, I always put extra seeds in there just in case. So, you can do that and spill them all over the place. It's fun. Push them in there. All right. Make sure that they're... You don't, want to have it, you don't need to have it overstuffed. This is this is plenty stuffed, but uh, you know, I, I, you know, my personals are a little bit more because I usually crunch it down like this, you know, and then just put a little bit more hemp seeds in there, like that. <laughs> but from the funnel part, a little bit more. Oh, oh, it loves just a little bit more. Oh, no, it's not even necessary. <laughs> it was fine in the beginning, but no worries. Um, and so then what we're gonna do is finish the stitching, all right? So we got them all in there. I'm going to take this part right here and make sure you can see your lines again. You, you, so you want to curl it up until they're all lined up. You know, you, want, you don't want to mess it up at the very end when you've done so well so far. So then go into there. Another one right there. Boom. Oh no. Uh, boy. Uh, Okay, almost there, almost there. Boom, oh, hold on. Do one more, okay, yeah, do one more stitch so you pass the first one, okay, the first knot, because this is gonna help you lock in that, that extra thread. Boom, all right? Now, I shorten this up a little bit just to do the next thing. We're going to do now a slip knot. So what you do is you take this, go underneath there, boom, pull this through. Come select this, then you're gonna have this little knot, this, this little loop right here, right? So we're gonna take this end, come through like this, and grab it at the other side, and then right here, we're gonna go through like this, but instead of going that way, we're gonna go between those two, right? So again, right through those two. Goes like that, it pulls it up. You sometimes have to tug it a little bit for it to slip down a little bit, and then goes like that, and voila. Okay, so we take this part, there, put it through like this, other side, cut it, Boom, goes right back inside there. And there you go, it's a customized, uh, all right, world peace blessings hack from your folks at hackido.org. So um, yeah, go out there and play, enjoy. Hope you guys got the new app, um, just coming out soon right now, but it should be out now for you guys. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for your time. And um, yeah, enjoy. Play on. Oh, yeah. So please like, share, whatever you need to do to help spread the word about play and creating these ultimate play tools. A simple thing just to be able to change the world. Okay. It's kind of cool. It's kind of important, but no, you know, no worries. But if you have any comments about actually or questions about the video, let me know and I'm sure to you know, answer them and get back to you with that. Okay. Also, swag. Hakita swag, in your um, hemp cotton blend type of thing, just trying to get the love out about Hakito. Even if you have your own slogan or something like that, you want to put it on there, we can talk and you know see what see what happens. But uh, you know, spread the joy, spread the love, and spread the aloha, you know, play. Alright, let's get this world a playground. Of course. Aloha.